Hey, for this tutorial, you're obviously going to need a headscarf and today we are using our Georgette headscarf in the colour Burnt Orange. As an optional, you can also use a wig cap. Now, the reason why we're using a wig cap is just to keep our locks, in particular my locks, as flat as possible, just for it to be as neat as possible. It's not necessary, you can do it without, it looks absolutely fine, but I do this out of preference. So, let's get into it. So next, grab your wig cap if you want to use it and then just plop it on. Don't go too far forward because you don't want it to show. Next, grab your headscarf, short ends, and then fold in half. Now for me, I've got a slightly bigger head, so I can't completely fold in half. I do need to give myself a little bit of leeway. So I usually leave about a third of the headscarf exposed. So as you can see, the color difference, like this one hasn't been folded and this side has been folded. I do this because I need to make sure that I'm covering the whole of the wig cap and because I've got a slightly larger forehead and bigger headspace here, it means I need to cover more with the headscarf. Once you get to the desired um, width that you need um, to cover your wig cap if you're using one, you then need to take the smooth edge and then place that at the back here. Once you've done that, adjust the tail lengths so they're even on both sides. Once you've done that, then tie a knot at the front. Don't worry if you have any extra material here, it will get covered within the next step. Next, you just want to twist your two tail ends. Once you've done that, just wrap around and tuck the ends in. You can adjust on the side if you need to, but other than that, you are all done.